Oh, well, thanks, man. Good luck at the Olympia. All right, so believe it or not, that was actually Chris Bumstead, and he dropped off this mysterious package, so let's see what's inside. It's a map. So I've been hit up a few times by supplement companies despite my following not being that big and I always usually give the same response. I'm just trying to grow my page, not really looking to make any partnerships right now, any long-term commitments. So just want to make this clear, this video is not sponsored. I am not sponsored by Jack Factory, although they are trying to get me to be sponsored, of course. They offered to send me this care package to let me try the stuff out anyways, which shows both that they really want to get me on board and they have a lot of faith in their supplements, which caught my attention and I'm not going to turn down free shit. I, I know somewhat of Jack Factory, mainly from, of course, Chris Bumstead, but in all transparency, I've literally never had a Jack Factory supplement or product before. So as you know, I've literally just been having coffee as pre-workout for the past month plus. So this would actually be a pretty solid review of the pre considering my tolerances on I just need coffee. I mean, just at a quick glance, they have both Lion's Mane and Alpha GPC in here, which are two things I'm very much a fan of. 370 caffeine, that is a lot of sauce, and it is already 6 p.m. Plus I got the crystal clear smart water, we're not rocking with the sink water, so has the best chance right now. Initial taste test of the Watermelon Pro Series pre-workout. That's solid. It's really drinkable. It's not a strong flavor whatsoever. And the peach mango aminos. That's yummy. That's yummy. So finished my pre-workout at the apartment. We are heading to Alphalee right now. And off the bat, Jack Factory off to a great start. Great first impression with those flavors. Also, I'm already feeling good because, dude, I haven't had fucking a full dose of a pre-workout in so long. Like, I'm about to be going sicko mode. All right, guys, so this is Sam. This is the new Mr. Vical behind the scenes. Vical is about to get fucking revamped and yes, sir, yes, about to go sir. crazy. About to go crazy on it. Ooh, that's good. Oh, right? that's really good. It's smooth. like a handful of times this year my PR is still 230 because I hit that in like January or February and just bench hasn't been the priority but if this moves it I want to do PR for vlogs Two thirty-five, so that would be a five-pound PR, and I haven't PR'd since like January or February. I literally haven't attempted a bench PR. I felt no improvement on my bench in the past like fucking half a year, but we'll see. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Why did I go? Good shit. Sam, would you like a pre-workout protein bar? I would. I gotta try the cookies and cream. I haven't tried it yet. It's a good. That's a good choice. So this is a pump product. No, nah, this is a pre-workout. Is it? What, how much? Where, where's the energy? They were talking about this new lines main shit, and they were like, "This stuff is like the new wave of like the fitness industry." That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's, it's pretty good. You would fucking 
take pre, we would dry scoop it. Probably dehydrated from school. You're not really drinking water at school. Dude, yeah, stuff. that's how it And then was. we would just get a swig from the water fountain oh, and then we get no. to grinding. And I would notice every single day I would just go into the little, at the little hospital gym, I'd have to go to the bathroom and just shit my fucking guts out. Like the most oh. horrible you know what? That diarrhea. Was... And I was like, what is this? And eventually I did some research. So what happens is you take this dry scoop of pre-workout and it goes into your intestines and you don't have enough water in you. So your intestines like, oh, we got to pull some water out. So it pulls water out of your walls, floods your intestines, resulting in diarrhea shit storm, which is what I experienced every day. Pink Himalayan. <laughs> We got ball. Me and Sam are gonna see if we can play shooty hoops because I haven't played in like over two years. We learned that we're not we very are, good at basketball. We're poo poo, bro. We're we're straight dumpy. Dinner time, we have shrimp Alfredo, and we are gonna be trying out the Jack Factory Green Surge. I honestly have only had greens twice in my life. The first time, they were absolutely revolting. The second time, it was like actually a decent flavor. I don't remember the brand, it was literally just a sample. The flavor's green apple, but honestly, as long as it's drinkable and doesn't just taste like lawnmower clippings, I think I'll be okay. That is, that's very much drinkable. It's actually solid. It doesn't really taste like it's greens. It just kind of tastes like green apple pre-workout or aminos. <clears throat> but I'm glad I have this now because if you saw the full day of eating video, you know that I could use some vegetables. Finishing up with a peanut butter sandwich because I did not hit my macros with the dinner. I kind of went into this not really knowing what to expect, but I was impressed by all three of the supplements, both taste and effect. Also really quick, I just want to thank you guys both for the extreme amount of support on that full day of eating video. And just for the support in general, I literally would not have these opportunities to be working with brands, forming partnerships if it weren't for you guys. For my following, the amount of support and engagement you guys give me is absolutely mind blowing numbers. Everything happening this year has just been an absolute blessing getting 10k on instagram closing in on 10k on youtube and more importantly me being exposed to and forming the best most engaging epic funny based community on the tube <laughs>